Welcome to Athens, Georgia, Sanford Stadium, home to the Georgia Bulldogs, where more than 90,000 have already started to bark loudly. We have a ranked versus unranked battle coming up here, and you know how chaos can ensue if they start smelling an upset. As we'll see, the UMass Minutemen taking on the second-ranked team in the land, the Georgia Bulldogs. For EA Sports College Football, I'm Reese Davis, David Pollock, and Jesse Palmer with me. Guys, it's time to get it going. Georgia likely to kick it deep to get things started. He'll bring it out. It's Harding. Rolling the dice to bring it out of the end zone did not work out as he stopped at the 13. So UMass will be in a hole thanks to that short return. And here's the man they rally around, and he has earned that type of respect, David. You dang right. You earn it by doing it, and he's done it at such a high level. Everyone believes in this young man, and Palmer, there's a reason why. You're right, David. He's been in the big moments, and he's won the big games. This guy delivers when the game is on the line. I, I like it. Just frustrate the defense. Get that five to six yards. Make him honor the run. Make him know that you're willing to run the football and run it effectively. This crowd, full throat, splitting the eardrums and letting him know it's going to be a long day. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. Well, you live by the blitz, you die by the blitz. That time, the defense covered at the perfect time. The linebacker able to make the stop on the short game. And from the offense's perspective, that's probably uh, making a little something out of nothing. The roar of the crowd trying to fuel this defense to keep them pinned in their own end. Working the middle. And he'll get it up to the 38. It'll be a first down. There's a reason third down is called the money down. What a great find by the quarterback. Great job finding his receiver. Uh, at the end of the game, you look at third down percentages. It tells a huge story, and it goes a long way in deciding who wins a football game. UMass quickly back to the line. Off the play fake on first down to throw. Nowhere to go, and the ball is loose. Defense just cradling that fumble and securing it. You know, as quarterbacks, you've got to be good in the pocket. Even when things are collapsing and you've got guys swiping at it, you've got to have two hands on the football. Didn't do a really good job of ball security there, and that led to the fumble. First down here for the offense. The lone back's got it. They get him stopped at the 26, but boy, that was an attitude run, a pickup of six. Well, it's plays like that that'll help this offense stay in rhythm all game long. If you can have that kind of success on first down running the football, it just opens up your entire playbook moving forward. Six-yard pickup on first down. Leaves him with second and four. Looking for a man. It's back. A little screen to the running back. And the defense able to drag him down, but not before. They'll recycle that down marker. There's a lot of different ways this offense can attack you throwing the ball. One of them is getting the running back going, and the screen is a great way to get him lathered up and get the defense starting to think about him a little bit more now. From the 17-yard line, it's first and 10. Getting some heat. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. You want to bring in your tight ends? You want to bring in more beef for that offensive line? I'm going to bring in more beef. Nice job by the defense understanding the situation. Red zone, field shrinks. I need more bigger personnel on the field, some big guys that can stop the run. Played the run well. Great job by the defense understanding the situation. Leaves it with the back. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. How about the defender being a heat-seeking missile? He was on radar lock. He found the football and flew down with some bad intentions. 
already well within field goal range. Wonder how aggressive they'll be on third and long from the 22. Looking to throw, and he needs a bunch. Snagged in the middle. It's Lovett. They make the stop at the five-yard line, and they've got it first and goal. Well, I think on that play, you saw why this guy's such a big weapon in this offense. At receiver, he does such a nice job with his routes. He's patient, and he's consistent, and he's got good hands. You don't see him put a lot of balls on the ground. Nice job there picking up the first end. They'll keep it on the ground for first and goal. He steps and powers and works his way. They finally get him down at the two. Offense trying to pay it off on second and goal. Tries again to get it in. Going right back to the well, and this time he finds water. Gets it into the end zone for the touchdown. The offense goes as he goes, so really no surprise in the opening drive. They keep feeding him the football. He shows you all of his ability on that TV. They'll try to add another to their lead. And he's got the extra point, and it's 7-0 to start this one. So they picked up 32 yards on that drive and finished the deal with the short touchdown run from the two. The kickoff team out there getting set. On the move from inside is five. And the returner will be brought down. The UMass offense returns to the field. As it turns out, the fumble on that last drive set up the touchdown, David. And there's no bigger stat in football than turnovers. You turn the football over, they turn it. He's got it downfield for a huge game. He's into the open down the middle. And he'll take it all the way. They couldn't bring him down. Touchdown, UMass. Well, as a defense, you know you're going to see the go route, especially against this guy. He does it to defenses, it seems, every single week. And so they're not able to get back deep enough. They get run by, he makes the catch, and then runs it into the end zone. They're going to have to change up their coverage and get some safety help up over the top because this guy's speed is a problem. He'll try to tack on one more. Right down the boulevard. If only it were always this easy for the offensive coordinators. One play, big chunk yardage, put points on the board just like that. And we're all square as he's set to kick it away. From inside the 10-yard line, he'll bring it back. Not a lot of space to be found. Good hustle by the coverage team, and they stop him at the 21. And Georgia ready to go back to work on offense. David, they love to do what they did last time and put this one in the end zone. You ain't lying. They did a great job. The offense was clicking. Everything went well. Palmer, they executed and got the touchdown. And they really were in a nice rhythm as well. And I'd love to see that here on the next drive, too. Just keep doing what you're doing. Everything seems to be working, and you seem to have this defense on their heels. And now on second down for this offense. Quick completion to the right. And the defense settled in to stop that one for a short game. They're trying to throw the wide receiver screen and pick up that first down, but the defense just too much speed getting to the ball carrier on that one. Ball sitting right at the 30. It'll be third and short. Looking to throw, it's back. Throws for the tight end. Got his man downfield. That'll be enough for a first down as he crosses the 50 and gets it to the 48. 
Well, another catch by the big fella. And hey, this defense now in the second level, they've got to understand that they're going to see some play action. They can't keep biting on the fake. It's not easy to do. You've got to be aware of the tight end and his release. As soon as you see him get upfield, right now you know it's pass. So don't even worry about the fake. Get your eyes focused and find the big fella to go make a tackle and make a play on the ball. Good, solid pick up there. Now they can start to smell it with a first down at the 31. So it's not just a strong running game. The dogs can be dangerous with those weapons up top. And I think when you've seen Georgia really dominate in college football over the last several years, it's because they've been more aggressive, more willing to throw the football early downs, trust their quarterback, not just the ground game. Put it right on him. Sweet play, good pickup, and they'll move the change with the first down. And that's why QBs love their tight ends so much, right? Especially when they're athletic, because they make short throws turn into long gains. Because of his ability after the catch, it's so unique and special. He is dominant in this offense. They'll run it from the gun. And I think they'll give him two on that one, second and eight coming up. All right, well, the offense here, they're trying to get this run game established. They obviously don't break off a long run there, but they're just trying to find their footing at this point. Picked up two yards on that last one. They need eight on second down. They're going to test that run defense to the right here. Fights his way ahead. They get him down after a pickup of three. They'll mark it at the 12. They'd love to pick up this third down and get a fresh set with first and goal. Looking for a man. It's back. Fires to the end zone. And he was going for the touchdown there, and they couldn't make the connection. Third and short in college football today. You see so much more pass than you used to. The offense stays aggressive, and I think they stay aggressive because they know they're in field goal range. They got that three in their back pocket. And they're going to head out to line up for a field goal. Absolutely perfect. And with that, they've taken the lead. So after the made field goal, they'll kick it away and rely on their defense. And they desperately wanted to attempt a return, but decided not to. Instead, they'll take the touchback. They'll go to the ground. These little gains can start to add up as he gets it up to the 34. I know it's sexy to throw the football, but if you can pound it away and get these kind of gains, they will just add up, wear the defense down, get first downs, and ultimately get some points. After the nine-yard pickup on first down, here's second and one. He's looking to throw. Caught in the backfield. It's John. Didn't get a whole lot of yardage before he was stopped, but using the running back in the short passing game gives him a first down. Well, it's a nice play design there. You're getting the running back involved in the pass game. Quarterback gives it to him early so he can go to work upfield and get the first down. Ball is at the 35. It's first and 10. He'll do it himself. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. Well, they were trying to set up the option, but the quarterback had no chance. Did you see the defensive tackle penetrate? What a great first step. He shot right through the offensive line and got the TFL. As they get set to snap it, just about to reach the end of the quarter. The play action fake. And he was drilled just as he released the pass. It's incomplete. We're already in the first quarter, but already you get the feeling this could be a long day for this QB. He's already been sacked. He gets hit right there on the incomplete throw. They've got to find a way to do a better job up front of protecting this guy, or it's going to be difficult to put up points. On third and long, hoping to throw beyond the sticks. And the ball comes out. What a disastrous play. Defense coming up with a huge fumble recovery. Final play of the 
the quarter coming. Off play action on first down. Got it in the middle, it's Lovett. There to make the tackle, and that's how we'll wrap up this first period. We're through one, and what a back-and-forth battle between these two quarterbacks as we look at the stats. They've switched into the field, and we're ready to get things started here in the second. The Dogs trying to pay off the threat on first and goal. Looking to move it through the air. And this will be incomplete. A big hit there forces second down. Couldn't make the connection last time. Let's see if they throw it again. The run up the middle here, looking for a path to the end zone. Forges ahead for one to the eight-yard line. It's looking like they're going to have to try to throw this one into the end zone here on third down, David. Quarterback's got to be careful. Can't get greedy because you know these windows, they close fast. Extremely tight windows. Find your big body guys that you know can win in contested situations here on third down. They'll move the running back to try to force the defense to adjust. He caught it! Pulled down for the tackle. Yeah, great job creating space. That's what you're supposed to do. When you get man coverage, you got to find a way to get a step Make it easy for your quarterback to read that leverage. And when he drags across the field, he can see he had him. He completes it for the first down. It's wise not to be too greedy, and they'll go ahead and send out the field goal unit. That thing would have hit a string in the middle of the uprights. Perfect. So after putting three on the board, the kickoff team is out there ready to boot it away. Here he comes from inside his own five. Couldn't find a way to create that broken field as he stopped at the 25. The Minutemen going back to work on offense. And the fumble on that last drive could have been much worse, David. They, they bailed him out. They held him to a field goal, so that's the good news. Now this offense has to get it going. Forget about the fumble, Jesse. Move on. Be positive. And they're upset with themselves, too. Uh, they're an offense that pride themselves on ball security. Let's see what they do right here. Didn't get much on first down. It's second and nine. Back to pass. It's Pumachan. And he was hit just as he was releasing the pass, and it falls to the ground incomplete. And that defender was just smothering the quarterback on that screen attempt. You know, the QB's taught to hold on to it to the last possible second. He had no shot trying to negotiate that defender. Better find the earplugs. Here comes the noise, backing this defense on third down. From the gun, wants to pass. Finds a man by himself. And they'll move the chains and get it to the 47-yard line. And listen, the defense knew coming into this one they were going to target him early and often. He is a weapon, and there's no mystery where the quarterback's going to be looking on critical down and distances. Let's see how they're able to cover him throughout the rest of this game. UMass quickly back to the line. Coming out on first down with the play fake. Fires to the wideout. Makes a connection. And he's brought down after a nice game. And there was no question in that scenario. That's where the quarterback was going. He knew he had his receiver in a matchup that he liked, running a route where he would find himself open. Nice job between those two. This UMass offense is moving quickly down the field. They'll run it. Able to squeeze out a couple on the play. It's down at the 35. 
Now that's what you're trying to do as a defense. Limit those damages when they run the football. Get them on the ground, short gains to set your defense for positive situations down the road. After picking up a couple at second and eight. He's looking to throw. Unloads it left. He makes a catch. And they reacted well to the completion, but it was too late to keep him from getting the first down. And listen, you get zone coverage and you can hit that curl route and he comes open continually. Keep hitting it. This might be a play to come back to. UMass getting set to snap it on first and ten. Takes a handoff. It's Hester. He breaks a tackle. Determined effort to pick up six and get it inside the red zone and down to the 16. This running back just doesn't go down easily. It's just difficult for defenses to get him on the ground. Not overly huge, but if I'm an offensive coordinator, I'm going to continue to find ways to feature him and just, yeah, you know what, let his talent do the rest. Got six on first down. Now a lot of options on second and four. Going to the run. It's John. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. I love this linebacker because he's able to dissect what's happening in front of him, and he reacts downhill, uses his speed to get to the line of scrimmage and create the negative play. This crowd knows they have to bring it in big moments, and one of those has arrived. On third down, going up top, buying some time. Quarterback tried to scramble around for a while, but the defense able to bring him down. What a great job by this defense setting the tone early. In the first half, they've been hitting the quarterback early and often. Make him feel uncomfortable. Make him feel that pressure. Keep getting him on the ground. That's why they built the lead. And on fourth down, they'll try to put three on the board. This is not a straight-on kick, a 42-yarder from the right hatch. It's good. After that last field goal drive, they're set to kick it away. Fielded in the end zone, it's Bell. He's brought down at the 16, would have been much better off to take the touchback. We're ready to get another look at this Bulldog offense. Always good to get points on a drive, David, but chip shot field goals can leave you a little empty. And I think it's great to get points, but the great teams get touchdowns in the red area. you got to get out there this time and execute a little better on this drive. You're absolutely right, David. Generally, the best red zone offenses are the ones that run the ball the best. So let's see if they can be a little bit more physical on this drive. After they couldn't connect, it's second and ten. Off the bootleg, wants to throw it. Makes the catch, it's Etienne. And that defense doesn't allow a cutback and they get him out of bounds after a short game. Guys have the backfield now, it's not just run the ball downhill anymore. You gotta be versatile, I gotta be able to trust you in the pass game, and I gotta be able to throw you the football, and you can do that right there. I know you're gonna catch it, and I can depend on you. To the air, it's back. Immediately fires to the middle. They'll move those chains, getting it out to the 29-yard line and trying to get this drive rolling. Well, we know this guy is special, and because of that, his quarterback is looking to him on critical down and distances. There on that third down, there was no question. It wouldn't have mattered if he was single-covered, double-covered, man zone. That's where he was going with it, and the big-time playmaker outside picks up the first. They make the stop, trying to pick up just a little bit at a time to get to that first down marker. 
He's just winning that matchup in the slot every time. And when you put him in the slot, Reese, he's closer to the quarterback. It's an easier throw. We can run in, we can run out, and really take advantage of his versatility of a guy in that slot position. From the gun, running back on the move. Really nice stop there from this senior leader. And a lot of times you want those big plays. You want those splash plays. But sometimes you're going to take some losses. You're not going to run the football overly well. But if you continue to run it, you can at least create some balance. You at least have the threat of it. Otherwise, you're just going to abandon it. And now it's just going to be a passing game. He'll pull it on the read. And he's a real nowhere man tackled in this no-gain land. Georgia lining up to punt it away. The punter going to get his first work of the afternoon. On the move, looking for a little sliver of hope. He'll get it out to about the 20-yard line, and that's where they'll mark him down. First down here with time for maybe one more play until the two-minute warning. Use the play fake. Now to throw. He finds a soft spot in the middle. And they'll finally get him down after a terrific pickup. It's first and 10 from the 31. He's looking to throw it. Receiver looks it in. It's complete. And good coverage by the defense. Just a short game. I think really good wide receivers do a good job of making every route kind of look the same. You could tell he, he this looked like a vertical route. So if I'm a DB, I'm bailing, and all of a sudden, he sits that hitch down. Nice job by the wide receiver, creating enough separation to create a positive game. To the air. It's Pumachan. Scrambling away. They'll get him at the 45, but he got 10 on that one. A timeout is called as this offense tries to find a way to get more points on the board before the half. UMass getting set to snap it on first and ten. He wants to throw. Just a short pass to the tight end. Just a quick rhythm throw there and really good use of the tight end. Yeah, good use of the big fellow. I mean, go through your progressions real quick. You can't find anything. Get the easy gain. Don't take a shot down the field all the time. Take those shots later, but take those easy, wide-open opportunities to get some positive chunks. On second down, he'll fire. He'll take a deep shot here. And he strides his way into the end zone. Touchdown, Minutemen! And I just love the execution by this offense. Late in the half, man, you want to take the lead. You want to get that momentum on your side, and they do it. They finish it with the passing game. And I'll tell you what, keep that passing game up. You can keep this lead, keep the momentum, and keep putting up numbers. Now they'll line up for what they hope is automatic. And the extra point is good, and it's a four-point lead. A very efficient five-play scoring drive. And the capper coming on that 48-yard touchdown dart. They're lining up to boot it away. He'll bring it back from inside his five. Not a lot of space to be found. Good hustle by the coverage team, and they stop him at the 21. And Georgia ready to go back to work on offense. To the air. It's back. Throws to the wideout. Just flying through the air like a superhero to make the grab. We got a timeout here late in the first half, and they'll try to get more points on the board before the break. They'll throw it on first down. Using the quick game. There to make the tackle, but the big throw is good enough to give them a first down. 
The offense uses a timeout to stop the clock, and they'll get a quick breather. From the 47-yard line on first and 10, he's going to pass. And that incomplete pass caused by the big hit on first down, second down coming. And you see those balls in practice sometimes. They're just off the mark. You don't, you don't know how to control it. You don't know what goes wrong. But sometimes QBs miss, and it's an incompletion. Here they come on second and 10 from the 47 after the incompletion. Couldn't connect on first down. Now back to the air. All kinds of room to throw that one in there. He works his way inside the 30 down to the 29 and picks up a first down. And a really good job by the quarterback being very decisive. He saw his matchup. He went for it. He attacked it. Got the positive gain. I would say he's going to find that guy a few more times today. Now on first and 10 from the 29. Looking to move it through the air. Fires a bullet. Now it's picked off. Trying to take it back. And they capitalized not only on the pick, but on the great return to improve this field position. Who says defensive backs don't have hands? Nice job breaking on the football and making the catch. A lot of times you see guys swat it down or you see them trying to catch it. It looks like they have two left hands. Defensive backs don't catch real well. Nice job breaking on the football. Nice job securing the INT and actually catching it. Time dwindling away as they try to put points on the board right before the half. To the air on first down. Oh, he's going to try to get it all here. On target over the middle. Touchdown, UMass! And once he found some daylight, it was time to make a house call. This offense is high octane, boy, and you just saw it. Not a lot of time needed for them to go all the way and score six. Well done. Lining up to tack one more onto that lead. And the extra point is good. It's 24-13. That drive not too taxing on the playbook. One play, put it in the end zone just like that. So here comes the kickoff after the touchdown. And the last thing you need right before the half is to give up a big return. From inside his own 10, let's see what he gets. Nice job executing all of the assignments as they put a stop to that return at the 22. Content to run out the clock, the quarterback takes a knee. That's the end of the second quarter. That means it's time to join Kevin in our halftime update. Thanks, men. The end of a very entertaining first two quarters of football in Athens. And there is no better place to start this halftime than by reviewing how this wideout has been a one-man wrecking crew. The kid's been everywhere. And I love how he's willing to go across the middle, but that he also has the Jets to burn these DBs on the deep ball. If this defense wants to actually come back in this one, they better hide his cleats. With that said, let's send it back to the guys at Dooley Field inside Sanford Stadium. Second half just about to get started, and UMass will kick it off. He'll start the return inside his five. Really disciplined job by the coverage unit to get down there and make the stop at the 19. We're ready to get another look at this Bulldog offense. I imagine we'll see them go right back to work up top after how productive that passing game was in the first half. And it's interesting. If I'm the defense and I've got the lead, they've had success throwing the football, but we're winning. I don't know that this defense changes too much of what they've done in the first half. I think they got to do a better job with pass rush. They might want to change their coverages as well because they're probably at this point expecting this offense to have to keep throwing, considering they did have success in the first half. Dropping back, it's back. Pocket starts to collapse. Not much of a chance there. He just had to get rid of it to avoid the sack. 
And that's a really good decision by the quarterback. Don't take the sack. Throw the ball away. Now, listen, we could debate whether that was intentional grounding or not because he's still in the pocket. I'm not sure that that's not classified as grounding, but they didn't call it. So, you know what? Nice throw away, QB. On third and long, try to convert through the air. Makes the grab. It's dealt. And sure, tackling there to keep him from getting to the first down marker. One of the things I love about this defense is they just have such great awareness, and they're always communicating. They understood the down and distance. They knew exactly what they needed to do to make the tackle to force the punt. That is so well done. Georgia sends out the punt team. This will be the second time they've had to kick it away. Pretty solid coverage there, and they'll stop him at the 26. The UMass offense returns to the field. Boy, that last touchdown, the one-play quick strike scored. Jesse, this offense hoping to keep that kind of explosiveness going. And I don't know if they're going to get the same looks defensively because of just how explosive that play was, Reese. David, they may be seeing a little bit more uh, off coverage on this drive and maybe some softer boxes to run into. And when you make that kind of explosive play, you're going to put the defense on its heels. They're going to be a little bit more conservative. So this offense approach now, maybe I don't have to go deep. I can go a little bit shorter and just make those easy plays underneath. And the pass is incomplete, jarred loose by the hit. Love the physicality of this secondary on defense. That defender got to the football, was able to separate the receiver from the ball, and did it legally. Beautiful job. Decibels rising as the crowd gets behind this defense on third down. It's a draw. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. You know, you got to be careful when you're running the draw play because you're hoping those defensive ends get way up the field, thinking it's passed. It didn't happen that time, and the defense was able to get a negative play. UMass will line up to punt it away. He will signal for the fair catch and take it just inside the 35. And Georgia ready to go back to work on offense. Off the play fake on first down. He's got an open man. And they're getting it rolling with that play to the 42-yard line. The Dogs have had a long history of scrappy and efficient quarterbacks. Add a little star power to it, and you've got something working. You definitely get a little extra something, something. We see it all across college football. You find that dude at the quarterback spot. It takes you from good to great, and you've seen that with Georgia over the last several seasons. And they're able to shove him to the turf as they stop him for a short game. I never know if it's grammatically correct to say a team is being out physical. You hear it a lot in football, though. That's happening in this game. They are just not getting the push they need all game long up front to have any success when they decide to run it. Scanning the field, it's back. Gets it out quickly. They make the stop, but the sweet pulling catch is plenty to give them a first down. And you gotta love the versatility of the big fella. You can put him in the box and let him block big defensive linemen, or you put him in the slot and you throw him the football and have success. Georgia coming out with a fresh set of downs. Hand off from the gun. Sweet feet on the move. And he'll make his way out of bounds after the solid pickup. And a nice job by the running back finding space, getting downhill, making the good run. Great job finishing with his pads. Eight-yard pickup on first down leaves them with second and short. Run in the red zone. It's ETN. And the Bulldogs get it past the sticks. This is an offense that really sees their identity as being able to run the football. Nice job there picking up the first down. Now down to the 12-yard line. It's first down. Used to play fake. Now to throw. Caught close to the marker. It's Bell. And he cruises his way to the house. Touchdown, Bulldogs! Great example of how a second half can really change everything for a team. 
No doubt. First half looked bad. It looked like it was bleak. It looked like it was ugly. But now you're starting to get it turned around. More drives like this is what's needed. And let's hold on just a minute here as the officials are going to have a second look. After taking another look just to confirm everything, the officials on the field got it right. Play will stand. Slams ahead. He goes down, going to knees in there for the two-point conversion. So that scoring drive took only six plays. And the score comes on a 12-yard touchdown pass. The kickoff team on the field as they'll send this one away. And he takes this from inside the five. And the return man is stopped, and that'll leave it up to the offense on the next drive. Looking for a productive play on first down. Looking for room. It's John. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Don't you love energetic defenses that fly around and make things happen? The ones that get in the backfield, the running back tries to go somewhere. Where do you want him to go? There, there is nowhere to go. Nice job by the defense creating the tackle for a loss on first down. Didn't get much done on that first play of the drive. It's second and 11. Going to the running game. Not much there. He gets one to the 11. trying to help their defense. Back to pass. It's Pumachan. And down he goes back at the three. I think if you're the head coach here, it's a bit of a mixed reaction to your passing attack so far in this game. You put up a bunch of yards throwing the football. You've lit up the scoreboard, but you've also given up four sacks. Pass protection has been a problem so far in this game. UMass will line up to punt it away. Doesn't say much for your drive when you're looking forward to the punt. Sometimes avoiding disaster is the best thing. The punter just gets it out of there. And good work by the coverage team to knock down the return man. We're ready to get another look at this Bulldog offense. Boy, David, they would love to stack another touchdown on top of that last drive. And this offense did such a good job on the last drive. Everything in rhythm, moved the ball down the field, didn't make those mistakes, Jesse, and they need to do it again on this one. Yeah, you're right. They had the defense on their heels. You wonder what sort of communication was going on that sideline. What sort of changes were they able to make because they got to stop the bleeding right now. Line getting set on second down. He's looking to throw. This time he's got it. Good execution. They moved the sticks, and they've got it at the 33. The dogs pick up the first down through the air, and the Georgia faithful starting to howl and bark. And we've seen that in the past with Georgia. Maybe you get a little bit conservative, a little bit too much reliant on great defense, run the football. The reason that they broke through, the reason they started winning championships in the recent era, they became more aggressive, more dynamic throwing the football down the field. He is stopped behind the line of scrimmage. They'll lose yards on that one. You know, as a quarterback, you believe in your matchup. And, and my running back, if I can get him the ball in space, he's going to win a lot of times. He did in that time. The defense was ready. Nice job in the open field making the nice tackle. Back to throw. It's back. Fires to the middle. Wide open downfield. And they finally get him stopped, but it's a big throw and catch, and he's down at the five. Well, how about the offense setting that play up? We've seen earlier in the game a couple shorter throws. They're just trying to suck those safeties closer to the line of scrimmage, anticipating that they would get an opportunity to take a shot. They called the perfect play at the perfect time right there. This Georgia offense moving quickly down the field. Going for six. Touchdown, dogs! And that one will put him up here in the second half. 
And it's so underrated. The, the relationship between a QB and a wide receiver, the timing, the ability to know where he's going to be and be accurate with the football, that's what leads to nice touchdowns, Jesse. Well, and the chemistry between these two guys has to be great when you're throwing in the end zone because coverage is going to be tight. The throw might not be perfect, but this is something these two guys have been repping in practice over and over and over, and it's paying dividends now on game day. They'll try to add another to their lead. And the extra point is good, and it's a four-point lead. A very efficient five-way scoring drive. And the score comes on a five-yard touchdown pass. Just about set to kick it away. And he'll bring it back. Didn't find any crease in that kickoff coverage, and he'll be stopped at the 17. The Minutemen going back to work on offense. These guys just took a punch. Now we'll see if they can deliver one, Jesse. Yeah, it's turning into a bit of a dogfight here in the second half all of a sudden. So let's see what this offense has. Let's see who can step up here and make a play. And I'm not concerned about the other offense. Just do you. Do what you've done to be successful throughout this game. Didn't get much on first down. It's second and nine. Looking downfield, it's Kumachan. Swings it out to the flat. And he is going to be forced out of bounds behind the line of scrimmage. Tremendous defense there. You know, that's one as a quarterback. When you see all those defenders around your intended target like that, just throw it in the ground or throw it. I mean, that's a completion that loses yards. You're just hurting your offense. They've got them then deep in their own end, and this crowd trying to help keep them there. They're bringing heat. What a complete disaster. What a terrible decision to run that far backwards and take the safety. Yeah, and sometimes you get confused and you get lost when you're out of the field, but not that far. And, and I just, I don't know how to explain this. I would love to give you words and, and break this down and be like, this is what he was thinking. I don't know what he was thinking. kickoff team lined up they'll have to give it back after giving up that safety running it back it's ETN and Georgia ready to go back to work on offense and David how they would love to stick it in the end zone one more time after that last drive and once you get the defense on their heels and you back them off a little bit you get in a little bit of rhythm it's really hard to stop Jesse and they're going to try to do it again right here and if you're this play caller you're loving what's happening right now because everything you dialed up on that last drive ended up working out you're just looking at your play sheet everything you're picking is working let's see if they can pull it off again here Looking for space. It's ETN. And he's to the 48-yard line. That would be good enough for a first down. You know, you start day one of training camp running your base runs. You need a few yards, you run these plays. You need a first down, you run these plays. You rep them over and over and over again. They're not sexy. They're not pretty. But in the end, they're effective, and they get you that new set of downs when you need them. Right back to the well. And they picked up nine on first down. It'll bring up second and short. You want to talk about making it easy for an offensive coordinator. You pick up a bunch of yards on first down, make that second down really, really manageable. That's a great job by the offense. Time winding down in the quarter as they come to the line. They'll run it from the gun. They get him on the ground, and that'll be the final play of this third period. These two quarterbacks have produced as we check out their numbers after three. One more period to go to see who can make the winning plays and come home with the victory. Georgia ready to dial it up on another first down. Now he's looking to throw it. A strike downfield. Touchdown, Georgia! And once he found daylight, it was candy bar the door, baby. 
That's his third touchdown pass of the day. The defense has no clue how to respond right now. No, and the defense has had absolutely no answer. He's been on the money. He's been on fire, making the right decisions and just carving this defense up. They'll line up to go for two. He's got the tight end. He's got the two-point conversion, and they build on that lead. About to kick it off after punching it in for the touchdown. Looks as if the returner will try and field this one. Stopped at the 17, and he's probably second-guessing that return. The UMass offense returns to the field. And the last time they had the ball, they wound up giving up a safety, Jesse. Yeah, that was ungood the last time they had the ball. So they got to do something here offensively to get into a rhythm, running and throwing the football. Try to find that consistency, baby. And try to find something positive with this offense. Forget about the safety. Those don't happen very often. Try to get some first downs together. Get some good mojo going. The incomplete pass leaves him with second down. Looking to throw, it's Pumachan. And he really needed to hold on to that one, but it was not loose, and third down is coming. And the big tight end, a lot of times, that's a bigger strike zone, a bigger dude, and you can tell they put the hit on him, and that ball came out, and it came to the turf. Nice job playing physical by this defense. Third and 10, still backed up inside their own 20. This drive hasn't really gotten started. And that's incomplete. A defender all over him. Knocked the ball to the ground. Fourth down coming up. After that incompletion, fourth and long now on your own side of the field. You're trailing in the fourth quarter. What's your go-to play call here in the passing game? Where is the matchup that you trust in to come up with a big one to give yourself a chance to stay alive and win this game? Fourth down, and the punt team sends it the other way. Looking for running room, he'll get it to the 43-yard line before he stopped. We're ready to get another look at this Bulldog offense. This offense has really been clicking in the game so far, Jesse. No doubt. Everything their play caller is dialing up, these guys offensively have been able to go out and execute, David. Yeah, and it's just maintaining the lead. Keep doing what you've been doing. you got a big lead. Let's just keep piling it on until they find an answer. Got stuffed on first down. It's second and ten. He's looking to throw. Unloads to the wideout. Soft spot in the middle. Oh, what a big play for this offense as they get it to the 33-yard line. Well, I tell you, man, this guy's been putting on a show all game long. We've seen his decision-making. We've seen his athleticism. Because of him, they've got this huge lead in the fourth quarter. So why stop throwing it? Just keep it going when the going's good. To the air. It's back. The throw to the outside is complete. They get him down, but this offense is set up first and goal from the nine. This is so interesting right now, watching this offense stay aggressive. They've got the lead in the fourth quarter, and you're thinking at home, we got to just run the ball and try to bleed the clock. They found something on defense they're taking advantage of. Two straight completions. I won't be surprised if they throw it again. They've hit him with back-to-back -back chunk plays. Now it's first and goal. He'll try to get it in with the run. He'll pick up three before he's downed at the six. Now on second and goal. They'll run it up the middle here, looking for a path to the end zone. He'll be brought down at the five-yard line, and this defense is on its heels. 
I don't know about that play call, man. Your quarterback's already thrown three TDs in this game. Pollock, let him cook down here. Yeah, I mean, trying to show some balance, but he, he has had a great day. I trust him. This is a good situation. I'm going to put the ball in his hands, and I'm going to let him throw this football and get a touchdown. Wants to fire it in the end zone on third and goal. Got it! And he wanted to score badly, but the defense wrestles him down at the two. They were counting on making a few yards after the catch on third down. Instead, they're staring at fourth. Yeah, and I think a lot of times you trust your guy. You, you throw it to him and you say, I can make somebody miss or lower my shoulder and get to the sticks. The defense had none of that. Nice job tackling. Nice job forcing the fourth down. It is true as he puts three on the board. And that lead grows even bigger. They keep pushing that lead out, and the kickoff team's getting some work. He'll bring it out. It's Hardy. That gamble did not pay off as they bring him down at the 12-yard line. The Minutemen going back to work on offense. He'll come out throwing on first down. And he intercepts it. Takes it the other way. And a big return after the INT sets up the offense for this possession. And as a defensive lineman late in the game, man, when you know it's passed, you're pinning your ears back, trying to get to the quarterback. And DBs are trying to do this. Pad them stats, get the INT. Nice job by this team. First down for this offense. He wastes no time and comes out throwing. Quick strike complete. And that was some kind of collision between a couple of big bodies there, and he stopped from getting the first down. I'll say this, man. In college football, you see a lot of bad tackling. You didn't see it right there. That was an awesome job. First off, being there at the point of attack, once the tight end made the catch, there was no doubt he was going down. Great job form tackle. They go to the ground. Oh, he gave him the limp leg. They get him on the ground at the three-yard line, but this defense is taking some punches. Well, I know this is an offensive line that has a ton of pride, and they want to come out each and every game and really impose their will on the D-line. They got just enough push there on that run play to pick up the first. Looking downfield, it's back. He wants it all. Touchdown, Bulldogs! And the punishment has been extended. It's another good decision by the quarterback. You've got to be impressed here. On that one, he finds his tight end. But all game long, whether it's receivers or running backs or tight ends, wherever the best one-on-one -on -one matchup has been, he's been able to take advantage of it. And that's why they've been able to score so many points. to attempt to try. The kick is up and good and put one more on the lead. Quick strike offense on that three-play scoring drive. And they finish it up with a three-yard scoring toss. Lining up to cover the kick after that touchdown drive. On the run from inside his own five. He was looking for some running room, but not much to be found as he stopped at the 18. The UMass offense returns to the field. Well, the good news about this drive, Jesse, it can't go worse than last time through a pick on the first play. No, it certainly can't. I think one good way, David, to help your quarterback turn the page is just find him an easy completion here and let him get back into a rhythm. Yeah, or find him an easy handoff. Just hand the football off, maybe get the ground game going, maybe jumpstart this offense a little bit. Now here on second down, see if they keep tossing it around. He's looking to throw. Catch in the middle, it's Harding. They make the stop, but not before they do their work up top and pick up a first down. 
And, man, this quarterback has had a day. With that pass, he goes over 300 yards on the day. Really nice job executing, putting up some yards today. Pretty good day for the young man. Maybe this will breathe a little life into this offense, which has been flatlined in the second half. Here's first and ten. Pressure coming. Going to try to pop one on the screen. He makes a stop, but a nice pickup there on first down. Leaves him in second and manageable. And defensively, this is exactly what you want, right? you got the big lead, so you can play big zone coverages. Just keep the ball in front of you. Keep your eye on the quarterback. Rally to the football. Gang tackle. And you're going to win this game. Quarterback stands alone. All wide receivers. Back to the air one more time. Looking to the big tight end. And it'll be incomplete. This defense is physical and pass deep. This defense has just been all over this guy all game long. Under pressure. They're finding a way to get to him and affect his rhythm. Of course, they have an interception in this game. That's why they've got a big lead here in the fourth quarter. This guy has never gotten into a rhythm. They have it at the 43. Third and short, trying to avoid making a decision on fourth down. He looks that one in nicely. He knew exactly where he wanted to go with that one, and they've got enough for the first down. Well, look, that wasn't a touchdown, but that was a massive play for this offense. They needed some momentum. They needed to find a rhythm, and what better way than converting on third down? Awesome job by the quarterback getting through his progression. Going up top on first down. Here he goes, breaking the pocket. They make the stop, but what a job on the scramble to get loose and pick up that first down. Man, how tough is this guy to defend? He drops back, everything tells you pass, and then he scrambles and gets the first down. Just so hard to defend. UMass getting set to snap it on first and ten. Wants to throw. It's Pumachan. Fires to the wideout. And it's incomplete. If you're going to take a hit like that, you might as well hang on to the ball. At this point in the game in the fourth quarter, it is going to be tough for this offense to get some completions here because now, trailing by this much, the defense is expecting pass, and they're putting a whole bunch of extra DBs on the field to help them out in coverage. Offense walks through the line for play number seven of the drive. He'll try it again on second and ten. It's complete! And he was dying to push his way in there, but he's knocked down at the three. And Jesse, there's a huge mountain to climb here, but you might as well start with a chunk play. Well, you got to start somewhere, Reese. It's been tough going for this offense all game long. They find themselves in a hole, but I love the aggressive nature. Keep taking shots. Keep trying to claw your way back into this one. From the gun. Fires into the end zone. And he wanted to get the score right there, but it falls incomplete. And listen, as a quarterback. And it looks as if they've buzzed down. Replay wants to have another peek at that last play. And you know the standard is indisputable video evidence, and the officials will change the call. He's looking to pass. Can't make the grab. Quarterback just missed him a little bit. Well, head coach obviously decided it was best to go for two points right there. They didn't get it, and you just wonder if chasing the points is going to hurt this team later in the game. They're down big, but they'll keep fighting to the bitter end and line up for the onside kick here. Not much drives more anxiety than waiting to see if the hands team can corral the onside kick, and they do. And Georgia ready to go back to work on offense. That's what you expect from a senior. Don't give them any extra yards. Great tackle there. And it's just simple. Simple first down run, showing your physicality, setting your offense up in a good spot. We reached the two-minute warning, and this offense is that much closer to salting away a victory. Here comes the offense on second down. The handoff keep working on that clock. And they'll wrestle him to the ground after a short game. They have work in front of them on third and short from the 42. Takes this handoff and headed to the right. 
He gets it oh so close to the first down marker, but I think he's going to be a touch short. And the O will stay out there and go for it on fourth and inches. They'll try to pick up the first. And he'll be taken down, but he does have enough for the first down. How about that? You got the lead late in the game. Get some first downs. Salt this clock away. This is the exact position you want your offense in. Imposing their will, right, David? I mean, we know we're running it. You know we're going to run it. We're trying to ice this game. There's nothing you can do to stop us. Using his legs at CTN. Puts him in the spinner, still running. They make the stop, and the clock strikes zero, and that will do it for this one. 